same time, Mike, that independent, what she says is absolutely spot on. Independents are going to play a huge role in this election. Yeah, I agree. And it's one thing that in my role, uh, being nonpartisan, consulting uh, politicians and corporate executives, that's the, le the biggest straw that's happening right now is what's what's left over after this, these announcements. Today so with how do I, on the one hand, appeal to these independents, make myself more seemingly independent, but keep my base if I'm McCain and then we'll get to Hillary or Obama? Right. Well, you know, when I'm consulting my clients, what I talk a lot about is behavior. Not, you know, 7% of communication is the words. 93% is how they come across. So one thing that I'm really working on with a lot of these, the, the clients that are coming about right now is really looking at how they're coming across in these speeches, how are they coming across when they're delivering, you know, these um, these town hall these town hall meetings. But it's really important that these people really get to the point of catering to the masses because perception is reality. But okay, but how? Give us specifics yeah. well, on particular issues. Do you come out and? Or do you hedge your bets with those issues, you like know, abortion, for example? No, I don't. I really don't think you really... Get, the issues, we like to think that Americans are very well read, but the reality is that they're not. They're, they're judging people based on what they see on the screen, whether they're reading from a teleprompter, whether they're coming across, what they wear. Oftentimes you see candidates dressing down, not wearing with a suit. They're more casual. So I think it's really important that they cater to the masses mm -hmm. by, uh, by how they come across.